Welcome back to Crown's Crypto Cave, and welcome to the third, yes, third <laughs> video of this technical analysis introductory series. Today, we'll be talking about trend lines, the good old trend lines. What even are they? First things first, to describe a trend line, let's get over to the uh, good old charts over here. A trend line is quite literally what it sounds like. It is telling you the overall trend of a series of price action. What does that mean? Well, to go into that, we have to talk about the psychology of these sorts of things. When bigger, when bigger players in the market want to essentially put their footprint down and make, make, their, uh, make their presence known, they do it in a slightly ordinary, uh, uh, in slightly an orderly fashion, so to say. And this creates what's called a trend. And if you know the good old saying, the trend is your friend until the end of the trend. Most people forget that last part. Just saying. Anyways, let's let's talk about how to draw them. So over here, over here we have a daily of Bitcoin, right? And I'm going to put on my my drawing tools over here, and we're gonna look at the obvious points of where a trend looks to be forming. Now, how do we know that? In the most basic of basic ways, I'm looking for swing highs and swing lows. Those are the big areas especially accompanying big volume that tell me that, hey, it's very likely that we do have a trend being formed as there's some sort of big player putting in their footprint within the market. So what does that look like? And where can we kind of find these over here? Well, I see some pretty damn obvious ones uh, going on over here. I see this guy, this guy, and if we extend that over here, this guy, and as you can see, we do have a nice trend. You know, it's going forwards over here. You come back, make your uh, lows over here, then spike on back up. And, you know, you come back down. And when you do test it over here, you, you bounce off it again, showing that there was some buy support along, alongside. So with this said, with this said, the important part here is that the trend does not always stay intact, of course. Trend lines were made to be broken is, is one of the sayings that I like to employ a lot of the time. And why is that important? Well, it tells you that a new trend is forming and that is no longer to be respected. And as you can see over here, you know that once this trend line is broken, it's time to move on downwards, creating a new trend most likely. And just to kind of point out these points, they do have significant volume alongside of them as well. One, two, three, by the way, and there you go. Okay. So let's pull it out to another one. As you can see, Bitcoin is in a very severe downwards movement right now. This is absolutely crazy. So if this, so if you are viewing this video in the future, well, welcome to some history. Anyways, back now over here. Okay, let's uh, let's find some other ones going along this side. And I see a very obvious one right here. I see some nice volume right here, corresponding with the low with a uh, local low. And then I see this guy right around here. And look at that. If you just extend it, and yes, it certainly can be extended, you'll see that we actually do have some support likely coming in right around here. So if price action were to approach this, yes, it's certainly very much far away right now. I would be looking at this area for a, uh, for a possible bounce in price action, which has not been broken just yet. All right, let's get that one out. And let's talk about one that has not been broken as well. Swing highs just go in the other direction and you can see we got a swing high right there, we got a swing high right there, we got a swing high right there, and we got a swing high right there. And there we go. And this is very, very useful because hey, we can be looking at this, especially after you have the first two points over here and say, okay, anytime that we approach this trend line, it's a pretty damn good sell, so to say. It's a pretty damn good historical sell, right? Now, this brings me to my next point. How much information do you technically need to create a trend line? Well, the by the book way is you want at least three points. Three points makes a trend. Now, with that said, when you do have these very obvious places with extremely high volume, you can put, you can connect about two points and then extend that and it's likely to be respected further out in time, which gives you a presumable good uh, good place to make and base a trade off of. So that's gonna do it for this uh, short little video over here. Again, I hope this video finds you well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.